Let's make something spicy using pork and kimchi. Well fermented kimchi. This is stir fried pork and kimchi. In Korean, 돼지 김치 두루치기. 두루치기 means that stir fried with this and that. So today I'm going to add some vegetables and mushroom. And this is going to be a really perfect dish for party. Make a Korean food party with friends and family. So this is 삼겹살. So pork belly, kind of a little fat here. When stir fried together with the kimchi, much better flavor. Clean this way and cut around one pound pork belly. So let's heat up. I'm going to use this pan from beginning to the end. Easy. <laughs> So to give some flavor, I will just add a little bit of sesame oil. And some salt. Keep stirring over medium heat, not too high. Meanwhile, we gotta use kimchi. So let's see kimchi. One pound of kimchi. This is exactly one pound. So medium heat. And chop this kimchi. I usually chop this kimchi very thinly. No time to wash my hand. <laughs> okay. Now, just around five minutes and six minutes, I cooked. So this pork is uh, well just uh, absorbed with some sesame oil flavor and a little bit just salt. Of course, this is uh, still too blend. We gotta add seasoning paste soon. And then, kimchi. Let's wash. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. If you use chicken breast, you gotta add some uh, cooking oil. Cooking oil around one tablespoon so that you can stir fry more easily. Okay, once kimchi is inside, it's not going to be burnt. So let it cook. And then I'm going to make the seasoning paste. Two tablespoons hot pepper paste. And one tablespoon soy sauce. Two tablespoons gochugaru, hot pepper flakes. And about two tablespoons just water. Jocheong, rice syrup, about two tablespoons. If you don't want to eat any kind of sweetener, just uh, skip it. But a little bit of sweetness, add it and make it kind of more tasty. Keep stirring. Then four garlic cloves. I'm doing again, keep stirring. Mix. Look at that. This sauce is nice and delicious. Sweet, salty, and very flavorful garlic. This is a large green onion deppa. And I'm going to use one large deppa, but you guys can use four green onions. Let's go diagonally. And add this here. And onion. Onion is around like a medium size, one onion will be good. Like a big chunk. Small carrot.
Now, just, uh, I just cooked this kimchi together around six to seven minutes of medium heat. I just kept stirring. And then I'm going to add this. And this paste. Then we need to add some water here. One and a half cup. One. One and a half cup. See, compared to kimchi stew, this water is not much water. And also it's going to be evaporated. When you go to Korean restaurant, they are going to bring this way. And just boiling on the table. And with other side dishes, and then that's the way that you guys can eat. I'm going to cover this. And cook 10 minutes. This time I use this mushroom, pengi basal in Korean. In English, inoki mushroom. You know, but you guys can use any type of mushrooms. Or just skip it if you are not a big fan of mushroom. Just so when you get this, the bottom part is not good. So I'm going to cut off this part, throw away, and then I'm going to wash this. So mushroom is here waiting. Let's see, just now bubbling. Oh wow. Lots of pork. Smells so good and spicy. Okay. Ground black pepper, around half a teaspoon. I will turn up the heat. Last touch, sesame oil. Turn off. If you want to have a Korean food party, and I'm going to show you. Here you go. I'm ready to have a party. One person party. You can share this with four people, four servings. All I prepared these small side dishes in the morning before filming this to show you how it go well together. Look at this. Rice, yes. And this egg and I'm going to just a little bit rice like this. For this, you can just prepare a large, large spoon so that all you guys can scoop together. Pork and mix. Mmm, this is a napa cabbage. Mixed rice, you can put this in here and together just you don't need samjang because it's salty enough and eat mm. this is radish cooked radish it's a moonamul mm. spicy cucumber steamed eggplant mm. so this is Soybean sprouts, kungnamul muchim. It's a semi-dried fish and salted. So if you prepare this, somebody in your family members has to split this and the bones so that everybody can enjoy. This is a yummy, yummy, delicious. Okay, this see. Are you ready to have a Korean food party with your family and friends? Make this recipe spicy stir-fried 
포크 앤 김치, 돼지 김치 두루치기. Let's do 두루치기. <웃음> Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.